So guys, we are back with our next tutorial. As I have told you that we are going through in this tutorial, we'll be going through different types of connections in negative feedback. There are totally four different connections, guys. Those are nothing but voltage series feedback connection, voltage shunt feedback connection, current series feedback connection, current shunt feedback connection. So remember, basically the series feedback connection tends to increase the input resistance guys series means it's going to increase so i have told you that if it is increasing it is nothing but the multiple of 1 plus a beta right so okay okay guys just a second okay so in shunt the feedback connection tends to decrease so decreasing means it is nothing but the multiple of 1 by 1 plus a beta so now I hope everyone is now clear with the two statements. In series, it's going to increase. In shunt, it's going to decrease. Shunt is nothing but parallel. So now we will be going through one after the another types of different connections, guys. So now first, let us go through voltage series feedback connection. So basically this, okay, guys, basically be perfect with one diagram, guys. That's going to give you each and every diagram easily and clearly so before we go through these things I'll be taking a small piece of paper so that I'll, I want to explain one thing okay just give me a second I'm taking it okay I found the book okay so basically remember in every diagram guys in all the four types of connections we will be having an amplifier and a feedback network got it so always these two and these two are connected in series or parallel got it guys so basically we will be remembering the order is nothing but voltage series voltage shunt current series current shunt so in voltage series it is here it will be in series and parallel it is nothing but input output series parallel 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 series series parallel series so this is the ultimate order guys by using this only you can directly draw the diagram without any memory or anything like that you can just directly draw it just by this code guys so what we did we wrote an order that is nothing but voltage series voltage shunt current series current shunt so the input of voltage series is series parallel 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 series series parallel series so basically how a series connection is denoted so series connection is something like this guys so this is how a series connection looks any of this even at input and output even anywhere so you may ask me that how does parallel connection appears so parallel connection will be something like this remember for everything you need to write draw this resistor so parallel connection will be like this here there will be a bubble something like this it's going to skip that wire so this is the diagram of voltage series so further moving on let us go through voltage shunt also okay voltage shunt is nothing but both parallel so you can directly draw like this amplifier feedback resistor so from the below one you'll be getting the direct one and from the above one bubble from the below one you'll be getting direct one from the above bubble so this is the diagram of voltage shunt similarly let us go through voltage series sorry current series also current series is both series right so only the above line and mix it, mix the lower line with the lower one okay even you can remember it in your manner guys i remembered it like this amplifier feedback so this is for voltage series so if you want for voltage shunt sorry current shunt in series it will be parallel guys remember don't forget this resistor it's a request guys please a feedback network that is nothing but that so here it is series right yeah series so these two these two and a resistor and here from the lower one and from the upper one a bubble so these are all the four diagrams so now i hope everyone is now 100 percent clear with the diagrams so okay sorry sorry for that wire okay 
so basically i hope now everyone is clear with this diagram so voltage series what's the code guys series parallel is the code for voltage series okay so basically you will be writing the steps in terms of feedback network guys remember it's really important so the input of the feedback network so this is the input of the feedback network guys so input output okay so the input of the feedback network is in parallel right this is parallel right so is in parallel to the output of the amplifier that will be my first statement guys and the second statement is the output of the feedback network is in series to the input of the amplifier that's what i have just wrote we are done with two statements right now further moving on the series connection at the input yeah here it is a series connection right yeah so in series connection i have told you that the resistance increases so in the series connection of an input resistor increases the input resistance so ri will be the input so that is equals to ri into 1 plus a beta i have told you that it's going to multiply so the parallel connection at the output decreases the output resistance that is nothing but r naught is equals to r naught by 1 plus a beta got it so that is nothing but the beta will be vf by v naught so now i hope everyone got a small idea guys i hope everyone got a small idea on this if you ask me beta what is beta beta is nothing but the feedback ratio guys feedback ratio here we will be assuming it as v naught and here out sorry uh, output and this will be the feedback network's output so vf by v naught that is nothing but output by input that's how we got this so it is nothing but the voltage series feedback is also called as a true voltage amplifier guys remember these names are really really important so its nickname or something like that is true voltage amplifier so this is the format which you follow for each and every type of connection guys so now let us go through voltage shunt for now okay so basically give me a second i'll be folding my book so that okay sorry for the moment okay okay so what's voltage shunt on both sides it is parallel it's nothing but pp right guys so pp you'll be drawing it for pp i hope everyone understood how i am drawing the diagram fine so the input of the feedback network input of the feedback network is in parallel to the output of the amplifier yep the output of the feedback net network is in parallel with the amplifier parallel symbol so parallel with the input of the amplifier fine both are in parallel input and output resistance are in parallel so ri is equals to ri by 1 plus a beta r not is equals to r not by 1 plus a beta so beta is equals to if by v not guys v not will be this and if will be this so we got if by v not so this voltage shunt feedback is also called as trans resistance amplifier right guys so now i hope everyone got a small idea on voltage shunt feedback so now let us go through the next that is nothing but current series so current series both are series right so the input of the feedback network is in series with the output of the amplifier similarly the first statement is done the output of the feedback network is in series with the input of the amplifier second statement is done both are in series so the input and the output are going to increase so ri is equals to ri into 1 plus a beta right and r not is equals to r not into 1 plus a beta and here the gain of the feedback is beta okay that beta is equals to vf by i not okay guys so now i hope everyone got a small idea on current series so the main application of current series is nothing but transconductance amplifier guys okay so basically let's go through the last one and then we are going to compare all the three sorry all the four types guys so this is current feedback sorry current shunt feedback current shunt means parallel series this is nothing but ps okay so we can say that both parallel and series fine so we can say that the input of the feedback network is in 
series with the output of the feedback and the output of the feedback network is in parallel with the input of the amplifier. So now I hope everyone got a small idea on first two points. Further moving on, the parallel connection at the input decreases the input resistance. So we'll be dividing it by 1 plus A beta. The series connection at the output increases the output resistance. R0 is equal to R0 into 1 plus A beta as it increases. Okay. And beta is equal to IF by I0. So here we are having both current only. So hence it is called as true current amplifier. So now I hope everyone got a small idea on all the four types of connections in negative feedback guys. So now let us go a comparison table. Let us draw a comparison table and let us go through it right now. Okay. So basically characteristics such as voltage gain, bandwidth, distortion, noise, input impedance, output impedance and also called as. Okay. So I'll be following the same order guys. I'll be writing them down guys. What's the code that we remembered. So voltage series. So the first part will be series input and the output will be parallel. Okay. Voltage shunt. It is parallel, parallel. Current series, series, series. Current shunt, parallel series. All right. So in any negative feedback, voltage gain will decrease in any in any negative feedback connection bandwidth increases in every negative feedback connection harmonic distortion decreases noise decreases input resistance guys now the main thing starts so now Input resistance, it is in series, so increases. It is in parallel, decreases. It's in series, increases. It's in parallel, decreases. Similarly, output, parallel, decreases. Parallel, decreases. Series, increases. Series, increases. That's it, guys. I hope everyone is now 100% clear with it. So, now, the... Okay, just give me a second, guys. Just a second. Okay, basically, the feedback ratio... Okay, just give me a second. So the feedback ratio is for the four are nothing but VF by V naught, IF by V naught, VF by I naught, IF by I naught. Got it? First both V, numerator I, denominator I, both I. So now I hope everyone got a small idea on this. Beta also. So let us see the other names. Voltage series is called as true voltage amplifier. Voltage shunt, trans resistance amplifier, current series, trans conductance amplifier, and shunt, true current amplifier. So now I hope everyone is now 100% clear with all about negative feedback guys. So in the next tutorial, we will be going through the applications of positive feedback. I have told you that we'll be going through oscillators, we'll be defining oscillators, their classification and the standardized equation and types of oscillators. So it's go this chapter is really a lengthy chapter. So let's meet in the next tutorial. Thank you. Thanks for watching.